A clinical trial is a research study in which participants are assigned to treatments or interventions to evaluate the effects of those treatments on health-related biomedical outcomes. Over the last several years, a number of clinical trials have been conducted for sickle cell disease gene therapy. This page is a starter guide to help you think about questions you may want to ask your healthcare provider or clinical trial team. For purposes of this webpage, we divided the clinical trial process into 10 steps. Keep in mind that others may divide the clinical process differently than what is presented on this page. Overall, from the time you start to seriously consider undergoing gene therapy, this whole process could take over a year to complete. The first step is the referral for participation in a clinical trial. Your doctor may recommend it, or you could find a clinical trial on the website clinicaltrials.gov. Step two is determining if you are eligible to participate. Eligibility may depend on your age, diagnosis, and your overall health status. Step three is the process of consenting to participate in the clinical trial. Step four is preparation for collection of stem cells. Step five is the stem cell collection, which occurs in the hospital. Step six is the manufacturing and processing of the collected stem cells. They are often sent to a separate research facility or company to be modified. This process can take many weeks before moving on to the next step. Step seven is the conditioning process which will ready your body to receive the new stem cells. You will receive chemotherapy to prepare your bone marrow to receive the newly modified stem cells. The stem cells will then be infused within your body. Step eight is the initial recovery after receiving the cell infusion, which can take about 100 days. You may be inpatient for about a month where you will be monitored by staff. This time would be followed by about two to three months of outpatient follow-up care near the hospital where you receive gene therapy. Step nine includes continuing care and follow-up. During this time, you will continue to interact with your healthcare team, usually at least once a month. Step 10 is long-term follow-up. Today, the FDA recommends 15 years of follow-up after gene therapy. This is typically an annual appointment with your healthcare team. As you review the clinical trial process, we encourage you to write down questions you may want to ask your healthcare team provider or the clinical trial team.